Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Crafting with Me. And if you're new here, welcome. So glad you stopped by. And if you're returning, thank you so much for returning. So this is what I'm working on. I'm working on the Tinkerbell. I believe that I got this from New Craft Day. Um, I don't have my light pad on because I just don't feel like getting the charge cord for it from over there. And I don't have my little battery pack with me. But I figure it'll be okay because I'm going to work on these eyes right here. That are very easy to see. Um, I haven't got to do much diamond painting the last few days. My grandkids have been out of school. And for the weather, they just went back today. But I do have my granddaughter, Remy, here today. I just laid her down for a nap. So we are going to have a coffee chat and whip. Today is the 19th of January, 2024. Um, the weather has came up quite a bit today it, or came up quite a bit yesterday so it melted most of the snow but even though it's sunny outside today it's still 24 degrees so later on during the week next week it's supposed to get it back up into the 50s but for right now it's still pretty cold outside which means it's still pretty cold in my craft room. So uh, this was from New Craft Day, I believe. I will go ahead and link it in the description of, of this video. So what has went on this week? Not really a whole lot. I haven't went to see my mom yet. Um, I was going to record a video yesterday because that was my day off. Well, kind of. My day off from watching kids anyway. Okay, I just had that tray. What did I do with it? I put it back in the box. Um... These are not my favorite type of containers, but they work out okay. I do have some of these that are actually single containers. They're not all connected together. I like those a little bit better. But I have one of my other diamond paintings kitted up in that right now. And I do have some suitcases, but I just haven't grabbed them out of the other room so this is what we ended up kitten kitten up in in this this time and i am actually just using i believe it's purple wax for this pen um my nano tape is in the other room too and other than getting my coffee in the mornings i do not really want to go in there because it's so cold um, Remy has been very, very energetic today, and I fixed her a corn dog for lunch, and I fixed some stew the other day, so I heated up some stew for me. I did not think that she would want the stew, but she ended up eating half of my stew and then her corn dog as well. So I might go in there and get me another bowl here in a little bit. And I blame me making stew on you, lazy retired granny. Because you kept saying how much you love stew. And then I had to go and make one for make some for dinner the other night. Um it turned out pretty good. I've never really made stew before. So I was pretty happy with the way it turned out. And next time I'll probably add some different vegetables to go in it. 
basically I just put the vegetables in it that I had around this time and that was potatoes and carrots and onions and corn so that's what went in it this time next time I think I'll add some probably some green beans celery stuff like that but it was pretty good especially on a cold day uh, probably next week I'll make chili one day that is one recipe that I don't even have to look at anymore I just throw it all together and it normally turns out okay um I don't measure it anymore nothing like that so this painting is turning out a lot better than I thought it was going to in the beginning we will see once we get to the face see how well that turns out I'm just hoping the drastic color changes don't make it look real weird but I was a little worried about the clothing her dress and stuff and it ended up it looks okay whenever you look at it from a distance um don't remember exactly when I started this I'll have to look on my google doc that I logged my paintings on but it's coming coming along pretty quickly um I did work on little helpers for a little bit was it yesterday I believe it was yesterday for just a little bit but I couldn't <coughs> work on it very long mainly been working on my cross stitch because I can sit in this recliner or this painting for one I was at the shop yesterday working and part of my job down there is to run errands go and get stuff that we need from the store stuff like that so I was bringing in two 24 packs of sodas they're not terribly heavy but whenever I lifted one of them out of my van I twisted the wrong way and <clears throat> ended up tweaking my back somehow and it's still it doesn't hurt all the time now but it does um whenever i go to get up or lean over a table something like that it really it kills me <clears throat> So using this, setting in this recliner works best for right now. And I haven't even went in there to get my phone that I normally record with. But I will be doing that. Um, Y'all will probably see this video tomorrow morning about 9 30 i'll try to remember to post on the community tab and let y'all know 9 or 9 30 what time i am going to do a premiere i like doing the premieres on saturday mornings because i can sit in here and even if Josh is on watching TV and stuff, I can still talk with y'all while the video's running. It's supposed to get cold again tonight. And then I think tomorrow is supposed to be cold, but nothing going on. And then Monday is monday morning we're actually supposed to start out maybe with some freezing rain 
and then it'll turn to rain for the rest of the day. So I might have a few slick spots Monday morning. Hopefully I get off work before it starts. Because I hate I hate driving in anything like that. Probably if it starts freezing rain or something before I leave work. I will probably just ride home with Josh and then I'll get my van Monday morning. Just because, or Monday night whenever I come home from work. Just because I do not want to drive in that. Even if it's just a little bit. So, um, what is everybody working on? Leave it down in the comments. Let me know. I love getting comments. Um, it may take me about a week to answer the comments. I'm trying to get better at that. I know there's been some that I still need to answer. I'm going to have to give up the thing about only answering them. <clears throat> on my computer because right now my computer is in here and I have to put everything away and get it back out every time I want to use it so it's not as easy for me to do I normally send all my emails on the computer everything um Yeah, Remy earlier this morning, she was saying bullets started barking at something, and there's times that he just randomly starts barking. Don't have any clue what he's barking at, but Remy was telling me, I talked to Bullet, I told him not to be scared, because my TV was too loud. So she was sitting there and she talked to him for a long time. And he's actually very patient with her. But I have to warn her. If he starts growling, he's not wanting you near him. He's trying to give you a warning. And he's just a little chihuahua, so. But there's times I have to tell her two or three times that, hey, he's not wanting the attention. He's a pretty old dog. And very, sometimes he can get very cranky. Surprise, Stardust isn't up here trying to get up in our lap. I don't know where she went to. She may have went back outside. She's got a big fluffy coat, and plus she can get in the back room. The back room is not as cold as it is outside. It does have some heat going to it, but it is a little bit too cold for me right now. <laughs> um, we thought that we were going to have some issues. Luckily, my son ended up noticing it before our pops actually busted he went to turn on he was doing the dishes and somebody had forgot to turn the water back on to let it drip well he was over there and he was trying he was like every time i turn it to cold it there's nothing so we got the heater, one of the little portable heaters, and put it down there. And it ended up defrosting it pretty quickly. We don't think it was that way for very long. And didn't get completely frozen. <clears throat> so we were able to get it unfrozen. And I'll have to, as far as we can tell, it didn't do any damage or anything so that was a good thing um sorry let me see what that was
Ну, I don't know what it was. I guess it is not that important. Um, I am hoping to be able to do a completion video on this here pretty soon. I figure I'll have this done by the end of the weekend. Or if I manage to somehow get it done tonight before I go to bed, then I'll add something to this before I post it tomorrow morning. Um, not really a whole lot has been going on. It's just the same old, same old. But I, this week has been really crazy for me between having the kids all the time, which means whenever I have all the kids in the living room, I definitely cannot record. Because if I'm using my laptop and then they're using the TV or the tablets, and then Remy is using the computer that is basically the kids' computer. Which I'm so glad that I have over there. I normally do not like the all in ones, but whenever I found this computer a while back out at Walmart, it was like $200. It was on clearance. So it was one that they were trying to get rid of, and it had quite a bit of memory. I thought that'll be great for a computer for my YouTube. <coughs> yeah, it had a lot of storage area in it, but the processor and all that wasn't that great. So I ended up, I used it until my husband got me my laptop that I use now for Christmas the year before not this year but last year that was my Christmas present from him I love this laptop it's a gaming laptop it's great could I tell you the specs on it no but he knows what I use it for, and he got the perfect laptop. And who knows, if I ever fill this up, I've got a one terabyte external disk drive that I can put stuff on whenever I need to. But most of the time, if they are on YouTube, if I've already uploaded them, then about once a month I'll go through there and start deleting them off of my computer. And once they're in the recycle bin or the trash on there, I believe after 30 days it'll permanently delete them. So, got plenty of room on my computer. I used to play Wizard 101 with my daughter every now and then, but... I don't even play Wizard 101 anymore. I mainly watch YouTube. And watch YouTube, record my videos, and listen to audiobooks. Now, as far as the crafts I do, sometimes doing diamond painting or cross stitch are my main two. Diamond painting above the cross stitch. Um, and then I will do my journaling, my calendars, my planners, stuff like that. Is another one that I do. I kind of do that on and off, but I always keep a planner of some sort. I just like being able to write everything down. So what I'm using right now is I just printed off some daily pages off of 
the computer for each day of the week, and then I write stuff, to-do lists on them, stuff like that, bills that need to be paid. <clears throat> I used to always decorate my planners, and I still do that sometimes, but I don't do it as much as I used to. I love looking through my planners that I decorated in the past. And I do a little bit of adult coloring, but I don't do a whole lot of that anymore either. I've been working on one page that I've been taking in to work with me for a while. And it just keeps me a little bit busier sometimes on my breaks and stuff. Whenever I have a bigger meal or something that I can't pull out my cross stitch stuff. But if I just take a sandwich or something like that to work, I'll just pull out my cross stitch and work on it while I eat. But if it's something like a fuller meal or they're feeding us there something like that which they do that quite often they do feed us quite often then i'll just pull out the coloring page because it's just a sheet of paper and my markers um, let's see nothing else here I am sure my mom's going to be calling me here in a little bit. If she doesn't call me, I'll call her after I finish recording. Because I am supposed to go down and see her today. And I don't know if I'm going to make it down there today because it just pretty much kills me getting up and down out of the car and all that with my back right now it does feel a little bit better than yesterday i will say that this morning i didn't think it it was a lot worse after i got up out of bed and it took a good two hours or so <clears throat> For it to quit hurting every time I moved. I don't know what I did. And I've always had a little bit of a problem with my back. But that. I just twisted some way that my body did not like, I guess. Oh, and I am using this pen. I I think I got this one from Craftably whenever they had their store open. And then the tips on this are from Cat Eared. I think I ordered a pen with these two tips on it and I switched them over to this pen. Long time ago, I've probably had this pen for two years now at least. I think I'm going to need some more wax. Is that all the eyes? I think all of the eyes are done. Okay. So with this one, I think I am going to have plenty of drills left. Because I've still got several little extra bags in my container over here of a lot of the colors that I haven't used. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and do the A's. Where are the A's? I didn't put these in any type of order other than the 1 through 24. And that way I didn't move them around or anything because it's kind of hard to do whenever you're using these little four packs. Anyway, this is still part of her hair, but I think this is the tie in her hair. And right now, 
This is one that didn't have anything in it, so I just put my wax down in this last one on here. So I could use it as my wax holder for this. Once I'm done, I'll take that out. But I have a whole container full of wax. And since I've been using the nano tape lately, I haven't hard I've hardly been using any of my wax at all. But I've got to try to finish getting that side of the room over there fixed up so I can make either. We're going to try to move some stuff over there. And then we're also going to try to make that a little kid area over there. <clears throat> and put, I've got a small TV that's in the back storage room i may put that up there for the kids and hook up an xbox on it for them so they'll have their place over on the other side of the room might even try to make I might even try to make a it's where they can wear headphones or something to listen to while they're playing. That way Josh can actually watch his TV whenever he gets off work or whenever he's in here relaxing while I have them. Can y'all even see what I'm working on over here? I can turn it just a little bit so you can see a little bit more. But I haven't zoomed it in or anything. Let's see. Remy? I have to go and check on her in a minute. I think she was just dreamy. I've actually got her in my bedroom because I normally put her in the bed in my craft room. But if it's too cold out there for me, it's definitely too cold out there for them. And whenever we ordered our new mattresses, they came with new bases, Jim, the movable bases, but it took them a while to come in. So we just used our old ones that we already had. So I'm thinking about, I was going to switch it out to a cot out there. But if I can use this adjustable base to put out there and I'll just put the air mattress on there then later on I'll get a regular mattress for it and that can be like a guest room for whenever we have other people come down along with my craft room okay so the A's are done See, I'm going to go ahead and get some of these that are up here. I'm going to get this X real quick. And now that I put those away, I found another A. There's an X right there. <clears throat> Go ahead and get that A. And all I'm doing is basically pulling one out of the tree. And 
and then there is an O. Sometimes you'll pick it up and it'll be right, the right way and sometimes it won't be. That one's the wrong color. Of course, of all the ones that I pick up, I pick up the one that is the wrong color. Okay. And there is another A. What was I looking at? Because I missed two of them. In two different spots. Okay, we are going to do K. Even though I've got a few of these. I'm going to go ahead and do this the same way. I'm just picking a few drills out of the container. Because I don't want to pour a bunch of them out. And Lacey Retired Granny, I'm definitely in the Spill Your Drills Club too. Because I don't think I have done a painting yet that I have not spilled at least some of the drills. At least one color. I've learned not to eat Skittles though while I'm diamond painting. Those little Skittles minis. Told y'all before about that on one of my other videos, my whipping coffee chat and whips. I actually had some of those Skittle Littles, and the container was half full. And I had went to put my drills up, and for some reason, I opened up the Skittles and just poured the drills in there. Um. Had to end up pouring the Skittles and all in a tray and separating them out, but it happens. I love those Skittle Littles. Favorite candy, and I'm glad that they only sell them. And at least in the places that I go weekly, they only sell them in Clarksville. So I only get a package of them. One package every week. I don't get any more than that because I would definitely eat them. But I end up collecting the little containers. Eventually I'm going to put all my spare drills in those. So I eventually have enough of them. To have all the colors. But right now I use them for like the black drills and the ones that I have a lot of. Okay. Let's see what is the next color that we are going to be doing. I got the day there. And let's see. Looks like pull you back just a little bit because I'm going to be working on a different spot right here. Who knows? I may end up finishing this tonight. Okay, so. Phone keeps going off and there's nothing on here that I see. Anything important, so we are going to go ahead think. No, let's make it then we're back. Kind of put this where I know that you can see what I'm working on. 
work on these peas right here. There's not very many of them. But we'll go ahead and get those. And then I think I'll probably, well, no, I need this one a little bit longer for the premiere. So that we have about an hour. Um, right now I am reading a, what am I reading right now? I'm reading J.D. Robb. Is the author. I've read all the books before, but I'm reading the In Depth series. And there is actually a lot of books that have been published since the last time I read that series. So I'm trying to get caught up and get up to that point. But it's going to take me a while and probably quite a bit of money to be able to get all those books. Which I get them on either the Kindle or I'll get them on Audible, one or the other. So, And then in between being able to buy those, I'll listen to their ones that they let you listen to for having the membership. Which I like a lot of the cozy mysteries. Um, which I will tell you the in depth series is not a cozy mystery. Um, but it is one of my favorite series. Let's see. Maybe. The R's right there. Once I get back in my room, I'll start using my phone to record again. So you'll be able to see this a little bit clearer. I was hoping that this webcam would make it a little bit easier for me to record and everything. Because I could just move the camera and stuff. But it's not working out the way that I wanted it to. I do like it, and as far as recommending this webcam, if you are using it for recording faces and people and doing stuff like that, I think that it would be great. But if you're trying to use it for what I'm using it for to zoom in on stuff and all that it's not the best webcam for that i love having the remote and i haven't tried it out but if you use the ai feature on this then from what i understand once it locks in on your face whenever you move around the room a little bit it'll follow you now that part of this I have not tried out, so I can't tell you how well that works or not, but it seems like it's a kind of neat feature. But for what I use it for, that's not something that I would do. Okay. What color are we going to work on now? How about S? Let's see. Um, I'm really surprised. I've already been talking for like 39 minutes, though. Other than my granddaughter here today, I've actually got the house to myself. Josh is at work. Joshua is at work. The kids won't be here till 3 o'clock or 3.30. Whenever they get off the bus from school, the other kids. And that'll probably be about the time that Remy gets up from her nap. <clears throat>
and then soon after that, or at least I'm hoping soon after that, Joshua and Courtney will be home for work. So Courtney will get the kids and take them home. And then I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to fix for dinner. Because I forgot to take out the chicken legs. So they're definitely not going to be defrosted in time. I'll probably fix those Tuesday. Um, I don't know. We might just have chili dogs tonight or hot dogs and mac and cheese. Or maybe bacon and eggs. I've got bacon and eggs. I might fix that tonight. I think that sounds good. I'll fix bacon, eggs, sausage. I might even throw in some pancakes with that too. That's what's going to be for dinner tonight because I've got everything that I need to make it. And I won't have to go to the store. If you hear that noise, um, I need to turn them off, but that's my cameras outside. I think the water dripping from melting all the snow and everything is causing the motion sensor on those to go off. Because I've looked at them two or three times and there's nothing there at all. So it's probably just that and it's only on one camera that is doing it too. Um I'm not expecting any packages or anything today, so I'm not too worried about keeping an eye out for that. I think I'll go ahead and take, turn this off for now. That's what I'm doing right now. Let's go to home. We'll disarm it for a little bit. We'll snooze it for an hour. Okay. So that's done. Um, haven't really gotten a whole lot of extra hours in the last few weeks at work. So I'm one of those people I don't mind working my full hours. And I want to work my full hours, but... I do not want to stay much longer than that, and I don't want to not have anything to do while I'm there. So there's some, this last week, because of the snow and ice, it was a lot of sitting and waiting for drivers to show up. And a lot of them rescheduled their appointments and all that. Because they couldn't make it with the snow and ice. Um, what else? Not really a whole lot of stuff going on. Didn't have any drivers that were acting crazy or anything this last week. <clears throat> there sometimes we get some drivers in that say some crazy stuff. One of the ones that aggravates me the most is I'll go through the whole spill. Are you in the door, tires chopped, dolly down, and disconnected? And they'll tell me yes. 
And then, whenever I'm telling them, okay, I'll call you, they say, what door was I supposed to go to? That is the one thing that drives me crazy. And then you have the... <clears throat> What was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. Y'all have to remind me of this stuff. Okay, so all the S's are done. I need one W right here. And then I've got a few W's over there. Not many. But I think that... I know it's about 15 minutes short, but I think I'm going to stop right here. Um, maybe if I work on this until the kids get home from school, I'll be able to go ahead and put this up as a completion today. So we'll see. Anyway, if you enjoyed this little chat, Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you join me again. Um, if you don't mind, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell. Let me know what you think. Please comment. I'd love to hear from y'all. Anyway, everyone take care, and I will see you later. Bye.